Hello there guys and welcome to another Milk is Nice tutorial. Um, in this series we're going to be looking at doing page transitions, but not just any old page transitions, animated page transitions, yep that's right. So basically what that means is, um, let's say we're on page one of your index of a website, and we click on page two, and it goes smoothly, it smoothly transitions into the next page page three and you can see up here I hope you can see up here the URL changing as we go along um, and you can see there's no stutter it just it's just so smooth into the next page whereas normally you'd get that little flicker um, when you when you change uh, your URLs so page one page two and page three um, I know this isn't the best design in the world, it's not the most exciting transition, but um, this is just to hopefully give you guys an idea of um, how this all works. And then I'm thinking um, in some more videos later on, we can do some really exciting, some really cool page transitions. Um, but for now, we're gonna keep it really simple so you get the idea. Um, so for this, we're gonna be needing uh, to know a few things. You're gonna need to know how, uh, you're gonna need to know HTML, you're going to need to know CSS. If you don't know these, I recommend you check out NetNinja's tutorials. I'll put a link below. Um, we're going to be using Barber.js to um, do the page transitions, and we're going to be doing, using a little bit of GSAP to do the animation. So if you don't know these, um, obviously Barber we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at a very small bit of GSAP, but um, if you guys want to delve deeper into this, um, I'll put some stuff b below for you. So yeah, um, without further ado, I think it's time we crack on. Let's start with the HTML. Right then guys, so let's start with our HTML and CSS. So the first things we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to initializer.com. I'll leave the link below. Um, so if you go to initializer and then we click on responsive and we go no template, we can remove these, we don't need these for now uh, and click download it. So I've got one here that I downloaded earlier. Um, so let's unzip it and we can change the name to, let's say, transition, transitions, okay. And then we're gonna open up this folder in our text editor. I like to use brackets for mine. So let's open this, I uh, don't need that. And then we're gonna open our index.html. Let's open it in the left side, index.html. We don't need to vertically split it yet. Okay, so here's our index.html. So we're gonna be working in the body, obviously. So we're gonna remove this, and then we're gonna come down, and we need to start with uh, a wrapper. So let's go wrapper, and Let's then have a container. So we need to go container. And then we're gonna need our navigation. So we're gonna go nav, and let's put in our li links. Um, so with this one will be index.html. And this will be page one, okay? And then we can duplicate that and we can say page two, and then we can duplicate this, and page three, and then we want to change these to page one, and uh, we can change this to, oh, uh, this will be page two, sorry. What am I doing? And we need to change this to page three, okay. Um, let's have a look what we've got so far. Um, there we go, we've got our nav up there, page one, page two, page three. Um, and then underneath that, we're gonna need to have our title. So let's come underneath the nav, and let's give this a class of title. And then inside here, we're going to give this a h1, 
and let's say milk oh milk is nice zero one or something like that wasn't it let's give us some spacing and there we go so um I think that's all we need so far for our HTML. Let's go in, check that everything's there and all working. There we go, page one, two, three, milk is nice. Okay, so now we're gonna be looking at the CSS. And we're gonna style it all up, make it look a bit more pretty. So I'm gonna vertical split, and in the right-hand panel, I'm gonna open the main.css, which is in this folder. Oh, I'm in the wrong one, aren't I? So let's go back to index, click on this link, and then we're going to open the CSS. There we go. Uh, and you see here, this is what Initialize has given us. So we can go ahead and remove all of this. We don't need this for now. And um, so let's start by styling our container. So let's go dot container. And we want to give this a width of 100%. And we want to give it a height of 100 viewport height to fill the vertical height. And I'm going to be using CSS Grid here because it's totally awesome. Um, if you haven't looked into Grid yet, I really recommend checking out some tutorials on it. Anyway, um, just follow along otherwise. So we're going to display Grid. There we go. And we're going to say Grid grid template columns and we want to give this what have I done template template grid template columns and we want to say one fraction one fraction one fraction and that will basically give us three columns each of an equal um, width to fill up the hundred percent here so one fraction is basically like 33.33333333%. And we're going to do the same again with the rows. So we're going to go um, grid and we want to go template and we want to go rows. And again, one fraction, one fraction, one fraction. And that will give us our uh, rows each of 33.33333% uh, one fraction. Okay, so that's our container set up. Um, we can probably see this now. If we come in here, uh, let's close this one and this one. And if we inspect it, inspect, uh, can we see our grid? Yeah, you can see here we've got our columns. For some reason, our rows aren't showing up. Let's see, we've got our columns there. Grid template columns, grid template rows, one F, that's why. So now if we go back in here and have a look, we should, there we go. You can see we've got our, um, our grid now, three rows, three columns. And let's come back up here. And now let's style the nav. So let's go nav and let's give this a padding of say 40 pixels. Oh, 40 PCs, no. Um, and we wanna put this in the third grid column. So to put the nav into the third grid column, we're gonna go grid dash column. Oh God, my spelling's terrible today. Sorry guys, uh, grid column three. Okay, and then we wanna put it onto the right hand side of the column. We wanna justify it. So we're gonna go justify content. No, justify self, sorry, because we want to move itself into the right hand side of the column so we go end there and that's our nav done so if we come back here and we have a look now we should have our nav over here there we go so if we inspect it inspect again so we get that there we go so you can see our nav it's pushed to the right hand side of that grid column which is where the justify end comes in Okay, so um, let's go back here and next let's style our title. So we will, we will go uh, dot title and um, we want to put it in the first column, grid hyphen column 
and we want to say one and we want it to span over what's going on here GERD column oh my lord what is wrong with me today GERD grid column one put it in the foot so we're going to put it in the first column and we want it to span across three columns and then uh, what do we need to do next um, let's say grid uh, we want it to be in the second row so we're going to go grid row two and that will put it into the second row and we want to align it in the middle of that grid row so we're going to go align self or align self center okay um, and let's make it nice and big so let's go font size 50 pixels um, give it some padding top and bottom say and uh, left and right let's just do this for now um, and what's next let's give it that's okay for now we need to style our nav links so let's copy that let's go nav a and let's give this a margin of 0 20 0 0 let's get, try that for now um, Let's give these some padding, so say 10 pixels, and let's give them a background so we can see them over the top of the image. Background of, um, let's say white, and uh, we don't want any text decoration, we don't want them underlined, so let's go text decoration none. Oh no, okay. Um, let's make them bigger so we can all see them. Font size 18 pixels. And let's give them a color of a dark gray. So let's say 666. There we go. Um, border radius of um, border, dog, border hyphen radius of five pixels and I think that'll be okay for now let's check let's check it out check, check, check it out where we go look we've got our nav up here we've got our nice big title across here uh, and so what is next we need our background images don't we so um, I have gone ahead and gone to unsplash.com and downloaded some images of cows because obviously milk is nice so um, here's my images here of the three cows so we're gonna go back into our transitions folder and we are going to put them into our images folder so let's drag that into our images and that will sort out our images there and then we're gonna come back to our HTML now and let's give this a class of background image or BG image one. This is the first background image. And let's go dot BG image. Um, and let's go background, back ground, and with a URL. And so we're gonna find our image folder and look we've got our images here I can't remember which one is which but let's try more cows.jpg and then we want to go background background size and we want to cover the whole of the area and then we want to go background background repeat and we want to say no repeat there we go okay so let's check this out and see if this is all working hopefully our background image is now in there let's close some of these down no what have i done so we've got bg image ah bg image one sorry so let's try again let's see there we go you can see it's come in now so nice so we've got our title we've got our background images and we've got our three navigation items so um, obviously for this we will we're going to need three different pages um, so we're going to come back to the index and we're going to go file 
save as and we can say page one uh, was that right no page two sorry sorry page two and we're going to save and so this is now page two so we can go bg image two and we can go this is page two i like to put a zero in front for some reason i think it just looks looks better okay this is page two uh, so and then we've got BG image 2 and we can copy this now I know there's a better way of doing this um, so we keep it so we don't repeat our sales but just for speed I'm gonna do it like this for now um, so let's say let's say cows 2 we got cows 2 yeah let's try that one so that should be page 2 done and then we're gonna go file save as and page three save and bg image three here and this is page three and again we can copy this paste bg image three and what have we got left we've got i think we've got cows left haven't we cows there we go let's move this up so you can see it a bit better there we go and um let's give it a little try now hopefully our links will work so milk is nice zero one let's just quickly go back here and i want to change this our title to a color of fff for now ah oh, yeah there we go okay so that's it um, so we've got page one which is our index page two this is page two and page three isn't working why not I haven't changed it have I page three I need to push save I think and let's go back and there we go page three so we've got page one page two page three cool so that's the HTML and CSS are all sorted now so far anyway um, and as you can see when we're changing pages we're getting that flicker and that is what we're going to get rid of next so um, yeah in the next video we're going to start to look at barber.js and um, then after that we'll look at doing the kind of animations that go the horizontal sort of bars the the screen white kind of animation so yeah, thanks very much for watching guys and um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.